antenna cables are a key component to any RFID system using an RFID reader and an antenna. Now as energy passes through the cable, power will be lost, but you can minimize this loss by choosing a cable that will perform the best for your application. Now there are three things to consider when choosing an RFID antenna cable. The first is your cable length. This will be the distance between your reader and your antenna. Second will be your read range. This is going to be the distance between the antenna and your RFID tag. And third is going to be your antenna gain. Antenna gain is typically expressed in decibels, and the higher the antenna gain, the more powerful the energy output. Now generally speaking, antennas with higher gain will be able to read tags from farther away. If you have a high gain antenna and you don't need that much read range, then you can use a more flexible and less insulated cable. However, if you have a lower gain antenna and you need all the read range that you can get, I would go with a more insulated cable. So in short, the longer your cable, the more loss you're going to have. But you can combat this loss by using a better rated and heavier insulated cable. Now the downside of this is it's going to be harder to work with because it's going to be heavier and stiffer. But if you want maximum performance out of your cable, you're going to want the most insulated cable you can find. However, if read range can be minimal and you want your flexibility with your cable, I would go with a less insulated cable. Now there are three ratings that we typically recommend to our customers. For anything 20 feet or less, we recommend an LMR 195 rated cable. Anything between 20 and 30 feet, we'll recommend LMR 240 rated cable. And anything 30 feet or above, we typically recommend an LMR 400 rated cable. For more information on all things RFID, please visit our blog or our RFID resources page. And as always, if you have any questions at all, give us a call or send us an email.